Hello, welcome, what's good y'all? Tone here, ready to continue our Slice and Dice run from last session. Uh, let's recap where we left off here. Our unfair curses here are worse items, uh, minus three item quality, which actually ended up giving us negative quality items, which were curses, which I was not prepared for. Which means we also have handcuffs, must be equipped, and a minus one item slot. That one's not terrible. Especially with worse items, we're probably not going to get so many items that there, everyone was going to have two items anyways. Well, actually, this means someone can have no items, but I don't think it's going to be too bad with worse items. And we also have the Wretched Crown. Uh, so if this character dies, whoever's wearing this, we lose the run. Which is really sketchy and dangerous, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we also have Frill Edges for the top and bottom heroes. Uh, if they do not have shields, they take double damage. Or I should say if they have not gained shields this turn, um, as it actually says. And is more specific. It is technically correct. The best kind of correct. And who are we working with? We have the Juggler, the Sanu, the Monk, the Druid, and the Student. Um, so the Student is our only remaining Tier 1 to upgrade. So our next upgrade will be a choice between two blues to get to Tier 2. And we don't really have any interesting item synergies because we don't even have a Tier 1 item yet. But our Tier 0 is the Potion Shard. 3 damage, pain, and drink, so it can only be used once in the entire run. I just threw in the student because why not? And that is the recap for this run so far on floor 9. About to pick our first tier 1 item halfway through the run. Beautiful stuff. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, before I begin though, I'd like to remind you all that if you would like to support this channel and my other related projects, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. So feel free to check out that site. It's in the link below or description below. Uh, also, I'll just throw this out here. Um, I am participating in Turn Base Fest this weekend. So if you are watching this uh, as it comes out, that'll be this Saturday, December 10th at 3 p.m. Eastern. It'll be a live video on my YouTube channel right here. So feel free to check that out. I'll be playing Dungeon Mans, a really fun traditional roguelike. Um, so that'll be a good time. So feel free to stop by for that. Yeah, let's uh, jump back into this run here. We have two pseudos, reverse Ludus, a ghost, and an imp. And we get to pick a item here. We can get a single cast. These are actually two really good tier one items. And what makes a tier 1 item for me is an item that you won't mind having equipped on floor 20. So this gives us 4 empty max hit points, and this one gives us a 1 cost heal 2 single cast. I like both of these quite a bit, honestly. Maybe Scar pairs well with uh, Wretched Crown. Not that we have any good ways to heal at the moment for that, so I guess it would be speculative. I just realized that. Not really having <laughs> healing is really scary for Wretched Crown. We got to do some good blocking, I guess. Our only sources of heal are this and the balance spell at the moment. Maybe that's a reason to take Poultice. I have convinced myself to taking Poultice here. I'll throw it on you because if you die, we lose the run, and we might want that to heal you. Alright, let's jump onto this floor. Floor 9. What have they got? Looks like my juggler died last floor. I believe we can trip into a spiky enemy. Uh, repel here, which damages enemies attacking the target, would hit 3, which is pretty solid. I think we need this just to save the monk this turn. Kind of like damage on the druid here. You 
And we do need someone else to block for the juggler. Actually, if the monk takes on the juggler's damage... So the juggler has frail edges, so they're getting... They're only supposed to be getting one poison. But they're getting two right now. Um, the monk would still be dying if they took the juggler, though. Ideally, the student rolls a shield, but we can't, that cannot be relied on. So I actually feel like I have to hold on to this for now. No, that's not true, though. Because maybe we can kill something that is hurting the juggler. Which would be the imp. Keeping that just feels so bad. We're going to reroll everything here. Or, or these remaining three. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy has a four damage. Okay, we're definitely keeping that. I was thinking this was still the, the tier one that had a three damage exert. Um, and that's a shield too. So this guy can just kill the imp. Um, I'll just reroll that. Value. Love to see it. We can actually kill the ghost this turn, which I like better. Because if we do four damage at once, we can bypass their ethereal pip. Which feels like a big value to me. And that would save both of these guys as well, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. So the order of operations would be this. And then that. And I think we'll just have you attack the Siddle because I do not want you to take damage from the spiky enemy. These guys have a high damage potential next turn, so we want to be careful with the Druid, the wearer of the Wretched Crown. Um, ju actually, Juggler's actually really scared with the Imp here. I almost forgot about that. I'll take damage on you again. I'll take this on you again. I think we have to reroll the Juggler, though. Okay, they didn't hurt themselves on the imp. Which is great news. I think we do this again. So I have a one and a three, but this guy has two health left. I think it makes the most sense to just burst you. I'm actually gonna kill the imp here. So that my juggler can just lay into this guy with impunity this turn. I was afraid of the juggler having the, the deal with the imp next turn. Uh, I'm just going to take anything that has damage on it this turn. Uh, if the remaining enemy wasn't an imp though, or if that, was, if that guy didn't have spiky but it was like an imp otherwise, um, I would have killed the Ludus instead. Or the Sudul. Uh, wow, this is a scary floor. What is this guy doing? Heavy weapons to all damage sides for heroes. <laughs> I've seen so much frustration in the uh, Slice and Dice Discord over this thing. These jinxes add a curse to you. This is a really annoying one. Uh, Alright, we get to upgrade our blue finally. We have the Myco and the Sparky. Sparky doesn't generate a lot of mana, but they have a good spell. Our Druid generates mana, so they pair decently with that. They also have a 2 damage attack. Um, this is good if you can buff it in certain ways. Charge is solid if you have other people that can generate mana. Um, Sparky is pretty solid overall. We have the Myco, they have a revive. Um, pretty good early burst mana, which is what's important. Spell gives you plus one to target sides for a turn. Isn't really amazing in our party. Like, I think the best value on that is putting it on these repel sides for the monk if they're gonna hit a lot of things. I'm gonna go with the Sparky. Sparky looks good here. Uh, we don't have a good 
place to put this anymore, so I'm not gonna equip it. It's a tier zero item. It doesn't have to be good or useful. Okay, that's a lot of damage. And we can only attack the Jinx for now. I think the ideal here is that we kill the Jinx with Spark or Zap. Oof, this is tough. Um. Oh, check this out. We get a... <laughs> uh, this side is actually okay right now because of chain and every every damage that is heavy. So this actually does two cleave damage, which is kind of interesting. It's actually really strong against all these bones. I think we really want this four damage though. Which we could actually kill something this turn. With that and this setup, because I can do three more damage to the Jinx. Oh my gosh, the chests have five health. These guys make the heavy really annoying here. So I'm killing nothing this turn. Holy cow, do we lose because of that? Well, we don't lose-lose, we just have to save the druid. It just becomes really awkward, because I, I normally might sacrifice the druid in this instance. Chain is a way to do damage to things that without the heavy attack, but it won't kill anything. Um, Zap would kill a bones. That saves the druid, actually, so maybe I need to reroll this for mana. I like that, actually. We can kill a lot of things with Zap here. Even if it's not going to be the Jinx. Okay, I think we, we go with that then. That was okay here. I think I want to try and roll for one of their three block sides, though. Perfect. We can actually zap the Jinx with this if we want, but I think we need to zap something that saves the Druid. Do I keep this? It doesn't save anyone. It's just gonna prevent some damage. And the repel sides actually aren't quite as good if I'm gonna be killing one of these bones with Zap anyways. I mean, it's still just three damage. No, it's gonna do two damage. One to a bones and a Jinx. Assuming I even block the Druid with it, which I probably would. Okay, we probably wanna block the Druid this turn regardless. Really wish I hit that, but I don't think this is worth re-rolling. Actually, it totally is. Because four out of six sides are an improvement this turn. Um, one out of six, we hit this. So we just don't want an X, but everything else is fine. We'll reroll that. Nice. Um, this is actually nice too. Getting an extra shield to block Juggler or Sparky. It saves him three damage. Or we can just try and keep the Druid even more alive. Um, I think we do kill the Jinx here.
Yeah, I mean, that feels pretty good. We could have killed one of the chests. And honestly, getting an extra tier 1 or 2 item from the chest is probably a pretty nice thing this run. Like that kind of doubles uh, our item value this far into the run. Since uh, all we have is a tier 1 item, really, that's really giving us any uh, benefit. Oh, you almost hit the two. Um, okay, how do we want to play this turn? Zap is pretty strong here. I think that's what we do, actually. Or not Zap, uh, this one, I mean. Yeah, easy. Nice. All right, tier two item. Wandify or first aid kit. Orange heroes only. Replace the left side with heal for cleanse. That's terrible on the juggler. Good on the roulette. Solid on the dab list. Uh, it's probably wasted on the dancer. Wow, I'm not really a fan of the dancer. It sucks on the dancer, because I think you have to really max capitalize on this side uh, to work with well with the dancer. That's not very good, except with the, the roulette. Which honestly, if we can't make use of one defy, One Defy is pretty solid with our heroes now. Gives us plus one to a bunch of to any of these right but not far right sides, which is pretty decent. Kind of like it on the monk in particular. Like it on the Sparky too. I'd probably put it on one of those. What does it do with the tier three heroes? Awesome on the roulette. Okay on you. Pretty good on the fencer. Bad on the eccentric? Yeah, I don't think you want to be make those single use. Good on the vet. Okay on the vet, I should say. Bad on all these dudes. Pretty good on the surgeon. Hmm. What to do? These are both good enough that I don't want to take the random. I don't know if. This is potentially very good value later, because I actually like the roulette with this a lot. I normally don't make picks like that, but... And this works well to slot into an orange so we can get some good cleanse in certain fights where we might need cleanse. Wanify is like... It's solid, but not amazing. In any instances, which is kind of what you want out of a tier 2. Eh, I'm going to go with this, even if we're not going to use it right away. It's terrible on the juggler. Uh, we got another spiky monster with our frail edges juggler. Juggler is pretty bad for frail edges, huh? I guess roulette is going to be pretty bad in that slot as well. If we did take a roulette. Okay, I am not going to risk swinging you again. I can't zap you, which is something I kind of wanted to do. Uh, I'll take that for sure. I can do that. And I guess we kill the Slimer this turn. waste this turn to play balance uh, for a few reasons. A, because we can kill a Slimelet immediately with this anyways. 
HP. It can't heal anyone. I don't really like... Yeah, like that kills our monk. I don't want to do that. I think I just do this and we hold our mana. Oh, come on, dude. I can't reroll you. Uh, this charge side is going to be pretty strong here. Really awkward with the spiker, though. We'll need to shield you first. I guess the monk will have to do, <clears throat> but the monk doesn't want to repel you. So maybe I keep this just so That works, and we hopefully find uh, we can kill the slime already with this and this, which I think we'll probably do. I'm gonna reroll this. I guess I could have kept that shield, which the game is telling me yes, keep it. I think we want to reroll for the mana or for an X. I'll take the X. Why not? This side isn't even really worth it anymore. I feel like I should just kill the slime with it now. For the amount of damage this guy will take back. Yeah, it's not worth doing three damage to you and taking four back. Okay, so that was awkward. I should have just rerolled that, I guess. Heal you so you don't kill yourself on the spiker next turn. Bolt is coming in clutch, perhaps. Nice. Stop rolling. Let's see. Repel is super awkward there. Don't want that. Can you even attack them this turn without dying? Maybe you do need this shield. I guess if Monk rolls redirect, then I can attack with the Sinew, they'll take the spike damage, and then Monk can play Redirect and take this 7 damage. Although the Monk would die if I did that still. This is tough, This uh, the Spiker is putting us in an awkward position for sure. Hmm, maybe I need this charge side. Play charge, try to get mana on the druid, and get blocks on everyone else. Sure. Can't use this block, because that kills the monk. That works. Do something like this. was doing more bursts to save the Sinu and blocking with the juggler to do one damage to the spiker. But that didn't seem great. Yeah, at least the druid's not dying. 
Okay, so you don't do anything. That actually made this a little awkward. Actually, do we have lethal right here? I need to do three damage to you before zap becomes effective. Uh, if I can block for you, then we have lethal. I need two block though. Ah, uh, this is lethal too, isn't it? No, because I need zap. Well, I have enough mana for two bursts. Still need to block though. I think I'm more likely to get the block I need by rerolling both of these dice. Um, I think this works. Cool, no one died. Good stuff. Level 12, the Baron. Which made me think of my recent encounters in Dominion with the Baron. <laughs> Dominion card. If only that guy had such a cool hat. All right, what is our first tier three? We get the eccentric. Uh, I like the eccentric. Just good, reliable damage, decent health. A um, little unreliable, but with three great sides, or three like very solid sides, um, you don't miss too often with this. Also, you do have a place to put some other items to fill these. There's a lot of like metal replacers and stuff, especially we'll see in the lower ranks, I think. Wizard is... I think I dislike them slightly more than I should, just because I had a decent wizard once. Um, I don't remember what the deal was. I think I was playing this on themselves with a bonus, so I could get like really good stuff here. But I, I rolled this dice like 30 times and never hit the mana cantrip, and I think I had like a really big mana cantrip. And I didn't even want the cantrip, I just wanted the mana. Like, I would have played it without the cantrip if the guy would have rolled the dang thing. Inspire's pretty cool. Target hero can use their dice again. I don't think we have any items that really work well with either of these. I'm leaning towards the eccentric with the... Uh, nothing else known. Um, this perma boost is pretty sick on the juggler really increases their damage output, so maybe that's something I should consider. Um, but I do like the zap ability on this fight, because we can potentially instantly kill one of these ghosts, like turn one. The sentry can also instant kill ghost. Honestly, the Sanu, we're usually just looking for these exert sides, which are four damage. The Eccentric has more of those and can do them every turn. So eccentric actually feels like a huge upgrade over the Sanu, even has more health. All right, I'm plugging myself in the Eccentric here. Um, do we move Wretched Crown to them because they have more health? I think we do. And there's no spiky enemies here. No, no enemies with combat effects. All right. Oh, geez. I guess I made a mistake, because this guy's like, all right, I'll do nine damage. Oh, I forgot this guy had a heavy attack, actually. That was a immediate reason not to put it on the guy with the most health. Whoops. Well, hopefully we can uh, block that. Okay. Well, at least they don't die. And we do get to kill a ghost. I don't have a way to heal this dude, though. This is brutal. Um, but yeah, I think we kill this ghost. Actually, I can just kill you with... 
this. But then I have to spend mana on something, so I may as well just zap you. I can attack the Baron, which each one of these blue pips gives us mana back, and I can use that mana to block the Eccentric more. Oh wait, no, the Monk's taking all the damage here. Which leaves you susceptible to Heavy again, which I don't like, but... That's okay. Is there a line here where I can get one more mana out of the Baron? So I can burst and then kill this ghost with the Eccentric? I don't think so. What was this ghost doing? You're attacking the Sparky? I think I really don't want this poison on the druid. That's kind of brutal on the first turn. So maybe we actually kill you. We harvest mana off of you to help the Sparky. Yeah, I like that better, I think. That that poison was going to do a lot of damage over time. Okay. So this kills this ghost immediately. I can't, I don't want to reroll this because that'll make this ghost immune. So we'll keep that there. I'll take the mana. Which also lets us kill the ghost. But I may as well use this because this has descend. So it'll actually hit both of these guys. This is a great roll this turn. Um, yeah, I'll take charge here, I guess. It'll be three damage. Does a monk just die this turn if I block the eccentric? It would. Um, actually, they die if I do anything but block for themselves. Well, that's not true. We, we have a lot of options here. So, because I can play Poultice on them. Okay, yeah, we have a lot of things we can do. So yeah, I'll take this. This is an obvious move, so let's just do that. This one is quite obvious as well. Uh, yeah, this is a big attack. I'm glad we kept this. This will actually give us more mana again. Wait, I can just kill you. Okay, that works too. Nobody has to die or get poisoned. Good stuff. Oh, we have a thorn here to complicate things with my juggler once again. Yeah, I think next time I play Frail Edges, I need to re <laughs> consider juggler uh, unpickable. I wonder if I need to consider roulette the same thing. I can actually throw that heal on them to make it less likely that they hit something, but it makes them pretty bad turn one. Let's see, three of a kind, add triple to the rightmost side. Well, that does nothing. Scalpel, red heroes only, plus one to all damage sides. Which gives us plus one damage on this with the druid. What kind of damage do we have on the tier threes? That'd be sick on the vampire. Gammon has a damage side. Um, I don't know who else has damage sides and the reds. Doctor has one that would be awful to use because it poisons us at plus one as well. I think I take a random here. I'm intrigued by the scalpel, but I don't think it's actually... I can't remember most of the tier three reds right now, but I don't think it's good on a lot of them. It's good enough just to throw in the druid like now. But we're probably going to level out of the Druid soon anyway, so let's see what random does. Lead boots cannot be re-rolled, but plus one to all sides. That's actually kind of epic on the juggler in general. I feel like I take that 
Just so if they do hit the thorn, at least the thorn dies no matter what. Oh, cannot be rerolled. I was thinking you have to reroll. my rerolls too much. Decent on the monk. Especially with sniper in the picture. So I like these two damage repels. Although I think we really need the ability to reroll the monk in case he's centric is in a position where they're dying. Uh, we have to know that the sniper has eliminate. We'll target the lowest health thing. So having our wretched crown on the eccentric is good here. I kind of like this on the juggler still here. Because basically these cantrip and then you can use them. These are all pretty strong sides here still. These are all basically four plus pip sides. And there's only one way you can miss. I'm gonna keep that on you. I'll just throw this somewhere. And we probably aren't gonna reroll you a lot with the thorn there anyway, so please don't hit the thorn. Okay, you rolled an X. That's cool. Uh, I could cleanse the monk here. I'd rather find a way to kill the thorn this turn so the juggler can Rest easy. I think we take one mana on you. That was not a oof, oof, oof. Well, this is rough. Uh, I like the idea of blocking the Sparky for one. That hits everyone. Actually, that kills the monk. This is brutal. What a terrible, 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 terrible first turn. I just roll three X's on the eccentric. I can't do squat with my spells. This is oof. Someone literally has to die. Like I, I can't even save both of these by like wasting all my mana on defensive uses. We rolled no damage. Like it's not even worth attacking the troll this turn really. <sighs> I think we let the Sparky die. The zap isn't that big of a deal this fight. They were probably due for a big charge shot soon. And we need the monk just so they can like save the eccentric and stuff, I think. Sparky was able to hit the thorn. I don't like this at all. Our Jester is likely to die this next turn to the thorn as well. What a bad first turn for us. Okay. Okay, you just have the handcuffs. Just checking if they had the poultice or not. This turn's gonna be freaking brutal. Okay, good juggler. We take that. We want the the eccentric to kill the thorn, which is weird. Um, actually, the juggler could do it if I block for them. Which maybe I do with a burst. 
Because it would be weird to block for them with the monk, I think. Because I don't want to block for them with this, because then the monk's going to take a ton of damage. Yeah, th this works. We need to get blocked regardless. It says, if you have gained no shields this turn, so even if Thorn Spikes remove my shields, I think that'll reduce the poison incoming. Okay, yeah, I think that's what we'll do, is I'll burst block for them. Uh, or I can do it with the Eccentric, but I like the idea of killing the Sniper, which actually opens up the Monk. We have a lot of options here. Because now the Eccentric can kill these two, or kill the Sniper, hit these two, I mean. That still leaves the monk dying this turn. But I can block the juggler with this. Hmm, that's not very good, is it, anyways? I think we keep it with only one reroll though. So our turn looks something like this. <sighs> Balance feels pretty good with these guys on low health poison. Is expensive when I'm looking at options to kill the troll next turn? We might want that mana for burst. I guess we can save the balance for next turn. The juggler's dying next turn. Yeah, I think we just want to try to kill this turn, so I want to keep the burst. Mana for burst. Um, do we have lethal already? Two, four, five, six, seven. Looks like we do. That's a tough fight. Okay, bandits and snakes. Four fourteen. And we get an upgrade here. The Surgeon, the Artificer. What items do I have? Lead Boots cannot be rerolled. This guy's pretty decent with no rerolls. I like that a lot, actually, with the Lead Boots. I mean, I think you want to hit these mana more than the other sides pretty often. The Artificer feels tough to pass up here, getting into an early tier 3. They just have a huge burst of mana here. And then Blades is really good for a lot of floors. We don't really have that kind of AoE. I think the Artificer is just very good. Um, they do not get lead boots though, that's for sure. They have a big heal, which can help uh, whoever's wearing the crown. Against all these snakes, there's an argument to throw cleansing on the juggler. In case my centric takes like four poison this turn, but I think we'll always be able to kill, well I shouldn't say always, but we'll usually be able to kill snakes before that's a problem. I don't know if I want the lead boots though, because I might have to target damage a little. Or make sure I get damage more than two thirds of the time. Do we got Artificer now? Yeah, I think I'll leave the lead boots on you. All right, let's roll with this. Um, your cleansing side would be pretty good. 
take his redirect. I think I'll take your cleanse, actually. I wonder if that removes the poison on the Artificer before the Monk redirects it. I'm gonna try that. Um, we can actually test it before committing to rolls. I think regardless, two cleanse will be pretty good here, although damage is important this first turn. I don't have a ton of yet. Okay, we're not doing that actually. Yeah, let's... Oof! Okay. Game does not like me uh, lately. Yikes. Um... I think we just let the monk die. It's kind of what the game is telegraphing to us. Um, we could kill one snake, which would be this one, if we're letting the monk die, but... I think it makes sense to let the druid take one damage. And spread that, because if I can get blades next turn, like, that would kill both of them. I think spreading the damage makes sense, because we kill before this poison is too big of a deal on the druid. Having the monk die is a pretty big deal, though. Oh, I did these backwards. I was I whiffed on my mental math at the poison. But yeah, we wanted this snake to have less health so we could make this bandit flee. Which we would have been able to do with this. Um I think this is hard to pass up as much as I really want these blades. We have three sides that we want. Actually, this charge side is really good this turn. Okay, I'll reroll that. Okay, I think I have to do this. Man, blades would have been pretty freaking epic, epic to get on any of these turns, huh? Um, well, we can make either of these bandits flee, which is I think we what we do here. I'd probably do it to this one. Whoops! No, 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 no! Let me do that. Um, I think we're okay with just letting the juggler take this poison damage. We should be able to win next turn pretty easily, so I save this mana. Even though we could burst kill something. Oh, so Frail doubles poison. Okay, I think that's the first time we've seen that. Uh, Alright, well we have lethal here, but that's, a, that's good to know. Wow, so poison's kind of brutal with Frail Edges as well, or Frail in general. Because you have to block them every turn just to not take a million poison damage. Okay. We have the dueling pistol. Times two versus targets who are targeting me. And Hex, kill an enemy with exactly six HP. So we kind of get Zap back. We take that. Which I like. We have pretty good mana gen that works well with it. Is our artificer the option to do like some kind of single target or big blades here? Uh, we have a Hydra here, which you usually kill them by dealing five damage to them in a turn, which I think means we take lead boots off of juggler so they can hit them multiple times once the demon's out of the picture. 
Also give some value to Potion Shard. We want one more way to do damage. This thing is scary on this floor. And um, with all that said, I think we're gonna, I just realized how long this video is getting. So we're gonna actually hold this here and we'll make these decisions next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, go ahead and check the social links in the description below. I feel like I should start plugging that at the end of my, my uh, videos. There's a Patreon and Discord and all kinds of good stuff down there. If you guys like this content, you'd probably enjoy that as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This run has been fun so far. Uh, difficult for sure, but I really like the decisions we're being faced with and all the strategizing and choices we're working through. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys for the next one, which hopefully lasts beyond this fight, which looks like a really difficult one. Uh, but we'll cross that bridge when it comes. Take it easy, guys.